Whilst there is a large fire presence still at the side of that aeroplane, they cannot reopen the runways because they need fire crews to be able to attend in case there is a problem with any of those uh, airlines. Let's talk now to Chris Yates, an aviation security expert. Um, Chris, of the Dreamliners that were grounded earlier this year because of the concerns about the lithium batteries and the concerns they were overheating and catching fire, I understand that Ethiopian Airlines were the first ones to resume passenger services. Is that correct? Yeah, you know, the, uh, uh, the, the airline was indeed the first to uh, resume passenger service. Boeing had worked with Ethiopian Airlines uh, for some considerable time to make sure that the amendments that Boeing made to the battery assembly and so on uh, were installed in those aeroplanes. It was going to be essentially one or the other of the, the, the carriers operating 787s uh, that were going to fly first and it just happened to be that Ethiopian uh, was one of the first. Now there are several uh, 787s in the o Ethiopian Airlines fleet. Uh, we obviously would like to know which of those aircraft it is. Uh, that's a call that's out at the moment and uh, fingers crossed we get a reply to that fairly soon. Do you think it does raise questions about whether these planes were put back in the air too soon after being grounded?